Hello there everybody and thanks for tuning in to another video here on Armor of God. I create content specifically on the subject of spiritual warfare and if this topic interests you, please consider subscribing and share these videos on your social media to help spread the message. In the movie The Pope's Exorcist, there's a mention of the demon called Asmodeus. Just to give you a little background of the movie, in The Pope's Exorcist, Russell Crowe's father Gabriel Amorth heads to a San Sebastian Abbey in Spain. The priest visits to investigate a young boy, Henry, in the 1980s, determining that he is possessed. Asmodeus, the king of hell, has taken the child as part of some sadistic game. It results in Amorth and the local priest Escabel trying to perform the exorcism ritual. However, they're sidetracked when they learn the site is one of many where seditious angels fell when heaven went to war with Satan. This creates a finale filled with scary twists and turns, affirming just how strong these men of God are in their faith, despite cracks in their own character. The priests learn Asmodeus wants to control Amorth and infiltrate the Vatican. This happened in the 1400s when holy men in the Catholic Church were corrupted and enacted the Spanish Inquisition. Since then, demons have planned to sully the Vatican's name by carrying out even more nasty acts in the name of Christianity. Thankfully, the priests free Henry, but it's only because Amorth absorbs Asmodeus. Well, typical Hollywood movies, I guess. So in this video, I want to share with you what the real exorcist Father Chad Ripperger had said of the demon Asmodeus. According to Father Chad, Asmodeus is actually one of the five generals under Satan. Let's hear from Father Chad himself now. Underneath Satan, there are what we call the five generals. The five generals are the five demons that are immediately hierarchically underneath Satan, and they are the ones who execute his plans. In some cases, they call it the table, because it's basically they get to divide up certain things. The first demon under him is Baal. Baal, now, Satan actually is the demon of impurity, but Baal is a demon of impurity. His principal function is to get cultures to succumb to impurity, primarily through fornication. Once the fornication sets in, then what happens is, is that the perspective that the conjugal act is ordered towards children is lost. From that arises the idea that sex should be recreational and that you can use it for any, you, any way you get pleasure, that's fine. So Ball lays the groundwork. We saw this in our own country. It was called the free love movement. They lays the groundwork. The next thing he tries to do is, although in our country he managed to pull something off that was rather extraordinary. The next thing is, is after that, as we read from St. Paul, God delivers men and women up to their lusts and men will start to want to sleep with men and women with women. Which basically means what? Once the spirit of fornication sets in, which by the way, I don't know if you noticed, in the new rite, they removed this from the spirit of fornication, deliver us from the litany of saints. At the very time that the free love movement gained ascendancy. What we pray for is what we get. You don't pray for it, you're not going to get it. After that, then what happens is, is the culture, the next three demons show up. The first is Asmodeus. He's the demon of homosexuality in men. Then there's the demon of Leviathan, which is the demon of homosexuality in men, but of the masculine kind. These are the women who are heavy on the heels, we would say. Okay. Then there is the spirit of Lilith, which is the more seductive form of female homosexuality. After those, after those have gained ascendancy in a culture, which by the way, if you look at the cultures, every single culture is pushed in this direction. Okay. So, uh, historically, not just ours, but historically, this is always the progression. Once you have fornication, you end up with contraception, and then the upshot of that is uh, homosexuality and then abortion. Balfamet is the fifth one, and he's the demon of child sacrifice. Abortion. In our culture, think of this. They shot down the fornication laws. 
And so they delivered us into the hands of Baal. They sh then they had Roe versus Wade and delivered us into the hands of Balfamet. And then they allowed gay marriage. And so now our country politically is in the hold of the top five demons in hell other than Satan. They delivered us into their hands. That's where we're at.